Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Autumn, and I'm the Youth Services Librarian here at the Harnett County Public Library. And this is Copper, my puppy, and we are here to do story time with you guys today. So story time still looks a little differently. We're at the library, you're at home, but we are so thankful that you've allowed us into your home today to have a little bit of fun with you. Um, and we just wanted to say that we miss you. So if you guys can, if you wanna take some pictures and post them in the comments below of you enjoying story time, um, that would be great. We would love to see you guys. Um, so some things you're gonna need for story time today. If you wanna go ahead and grab a friend like Theo here, we are gonna do another lap bounce. So for our older story time friends, you'll need that um, little friend with you today to do your lap bounce with. Um, and then for the parents at home with little babies, of course you'll use the babies. All right, so um, are you guys ready for a copper kiss? He loves to come out and say hello to you in story time and that's what we are gonna do today too um, for our virtual story time. So here he comes. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get started with our hello song that we do each and every week. I'm going to put Copper down for now right beside of me. And we are going to go ahead and wake our hands up this morning. Can you get your hands going and give them a shake? Can you shake them up high and touch the sky? And then bring them all the way down low. And then shake them in the middle. And wiggle those fingers too. Get those fingers nice and awake this morning. All right, so we are gonna start off, learn each one of our signs um, that we do in our hello song, and then we'll sing the song together. So our first sign that we're gonna learn today is hello, and that's where you take your hand to your forehead, just like this. You got it, and then go out. So we'll put our hand on our forehead, and then move it out. It's kind of like a salute. All right, you got it. So the next one is friend, so we're gonna take our finger and point it up. So that's one little friend. Then we're gonna take another finger, and that's two little friends, and then these friends are gonna give each other a hug. All right, you got it. All right, so the next sign we're gonna do is it's time, so we're gonna to point to our wrist like we have a watch on. You guys are doing great. And the last one is to say, so you're gonna put your finger right under your lips, then you're gonna go out too. All right. Are you guys ready to put those signs together now into our song? And we're going to tell each other hello this morning. All right, here we go. So get your hello ready. Put it up on your head. All right, let's sing. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Awesome job, guys. All right, we're gonna try that one more time. So where does our hello go again? You're right, up on our head. All right, let's sing together one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Awesome job, guys. You did so great with that this morning. So, last week at story time, we talked about springtime things. So, we talked about flowers and trees and all the things that we see outside that are changing for spring. And one of the things that I mentioned is birds. So, I talked about how much I love to look outside of my window and see the birds that come. I've got a bird feeder at home. Um, and I actually like to use my binoculars to look in the trees all around my house and see if I can see birds up in the trees and what they're doing and also spot some nests. So you might see some nests just like this. I brought a nest with me today and in that nest, especially in the springtime, you might see some baby birds just like this. So I would encourage you at home if you have some binoculars or you can just use your eyes to look around and see what birds you can see in the trees all around your house and as you can see I brought some birds with me today to story time they're all different kinds of birds but hey while I've got my binoculars out do you guys want to look through them and see what you can see what do you see in the binoculars do you see any birds I see one right there. 
right there. Do you hear any singing? How many birds do you see? What do they look like? What colors are they? Now that we've seen our birds, we are gonna go ahead and get ready to read some fun bird stories together. But before we do that, we are gonna do a little rhyme that we usually do in preschool story time. And we usually do dance your fingers. But since we're talking about birds today, and we know that birds love to fly around, we are gonna pretend to fly our fingers. All right, are you guys ready to fly your fingers with me? Get them wiggling, get them going. All right, here we go. Fly your fingers up. Fly your fingers down, move them back down. Fly your fingers side to side and fly them all around. So make a big circle with your fingers. Fly them on your shoulder. Fly them on your head. Good job. Fly them on your belly. Tickle, 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 tickle. Is that silly? Now put them into bed. All right, you guys did such a great job with that. Are you ready for a book now? Let's get one going. All right, so the first story we are going to read today is called Birds. So we are going to see all different kinds of birds. When you close your eyes and use your imagination, what birds do you picture when you think about birds? Let's see if our, your bird is in our story today. All right, so do you have your listening ears on? And your reading eyes? All right, we're ready to get started. Here we go. Birds are all around us, soaring in the sky, singing in the trees, and hopping on the ground. A rooster starts the day with his loud call. Do you guys know what roosters say? That's right, they go cock a doodle doo. <gasps> Ooh, what kind of bird is this? Let's find out. This noisy woodpecker is looking for food inside of a tree trunk. So the woodpecker pecks on a tree. And that's how he looks. He makes little holes in the tree and he gets a bug out and eats it. A duck is another kind of bird. They swim on the pond with their little babies called ducklings and they go quack, quack, quack and they paddle all around. Here's one called a pigeon. They like to live in the loud cities. And pigeons often build nests on window ledges and on bridges. Have you guys ever seen a pigeon before? Ooh, here's some flamingos. Flamingos love to flock quietly together near the water. And a lot of the time, flamingos love to stand on one leg. Can you do that? Can you balance on one leg like a flamingo? What do you see in the treetops of a warm jungle? What kind of bird is that? It's a toucan with a bright rainbow beak. And toucans make their nests in hollowed out trees. Brr, here's a bird that likes to live in the cold. It's a penguin. Penguins can't fly, but they sure do love to swim. Did you guys know that penguins can swim faster than any other bird? They're fast swimmers. And here are the ostriches. Ostriches also cannot fly, but they can run, run, run. And did you guys know that this is the largest bird in the whole world? This is as big as they get. And here's a teeny tiny little hummingbird. So the hummingbird may be tiny, but it flies fast forward and it can fly backwards. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? They are called hummingbirds because their fast wings make a humming noise when they fly. 
And here are peacocks. Peacocks have beautiful colored tail feathers. What colors do you see? Do you guys see different colors in the peacock? I see some purple and some green and blue. Do you see any other colors? An owl sleeps all day, but he stays awake all night long. So here's another bird. And this is actually my favorite bird. And these owls, do you know what sound they make? They go, whoo, 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 whoo. And owls can even see in the dark. Can you guys help me say goodnight to this owl? This is the end of our book. Say goodnight, owl. Good night. And that's the end. Thank you guys for helping me read that story today. Those were a lot of different birds that we saw in there. All right, so we are gonna do a little finger play right now. Um, and we are gonna do two little blackbirds. So you are gonna need a one little finger and then another little finger. So get your fingers ready. And we are gonna pretend these fingers today are our two little blackbirds and we're gonna learn a rhyme together about these blackbirds, all right? All right, here we go. So it goes like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. All right, now we're gonna make them fly away, you ready? Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. All right, that was a great job, guys. All right, we're gonna try this one more time, so get your little birds ready. Can you make them fly? All right, here we go. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. All right, that's a fun little rhyme. We can pretend to be birds, huh? All right, so while we have our fingers going, we are gonna do a fun little finger play that I have just recently found and it's become my new favorite song, so get ready to have some fun with me. We are gonna do a song called One From The Left. So, and this song is by Mr. Jim Gill and we are so thankful that he gave us permission to use his music in our story times today. So I'm gonna get the music going and I will tell you that this song is gonna use all of our fingers. So we are eventually gonna go from one to two to three to four to five and on both hands at the same time and we're gonna make them dance, all right? So I'll walk you through it while we do it. Here we go. How about a song for your fingers? All right, you guys ready? Get your fingers nice and awake. Here we go. One from the left. All right, get your finger. And one from the right. Another one. Now they're gonna meet in the middle, and they're gonna dance. Can you make your fingers dance? All right, now they're gonna go in circles. Can you make your little fingers point in circles? And wave goodbye. And they're gonna walk away. Can you hide them behind your back again? All right, now we're gonna use two fingers, all right? Two from the left. Two. And two from the right. Two more. The they're going to meet in the middle. Can you make them dance? They made up a dance called Snips Go. All right, now snip your fingers, kind of like scissors. There they go with their and dance. Wave goodbye. Waving goodbye. And walked away. Walk away. Those four. Great job, guys. Are you ready to use three fingers now in your hand? It's a little tougher. Three from the left. Three from the left. And three from the right. There we go. Met in the middle, Meet them in the middle. Nice. Make them dance. There you go. The dance called the finger mix. Uh, this is hard. You're gonna interweb your fingers together. Then they wave goodbye. Wave them goodbye. And walked away. Walk away. Those six. Doing great. So we're gonna do four fingers now. Tuck those thumbs in. Here we go. Four from the left. There's our four. And four from the right. Met Meet them in the middle. middle. We make them dance. They made up a dance called bend and straight. So we're gonna bend our fingers and then make them go straight. Good job. They wave goodbye. Now wave them goodbye. And walked away. Walk away. Those eight. 
All right, are you guys ready for the last one? We're gonna use all five of our fingers on both hands. Here we go. Five from the left. There's our five. And five from the right. There we go. Mexican made in the middle. Dance all night. You can dance. They made up a dance called clap. And clap your hands. And clap and clap again. Great job, guys. Then they waved goodbye. Wave them goodbye. And walked away. Walk away. All ten. Do you guys like that? It's a fun song. That's one of my new favorite songs to do. We're going to do that more in story time when we're back together again. All right, so are you guys ready for our last book today? We are going to have a little bit more fun and read Hooray for Birds. So we are celebrating birds today. And in this book, we are gonna use our imaginations and pretend to be birds and do a lot of different actions and have fun and fly around and do different things together. All right, so we're gonna read Hooray for Birds by Lucy Cousins. And look, this is a huge tall bird, isn't it? There's all different kinds of birds in the world. All right, here we go. Can you imagine just for one day, you're a busy bird? Yes, a bird, hooray! All right, are you guys ready to be birds with me? The sun is up, the sky is blue, wake up and shout! Do you know what that rooster says? Cock-a-doodle-doo! Can I hear you? Can you do it again? Can you make a rooster sound? Great job. Flap your wings and you can fly. So flap those wings at home. Higher and higher, up in the sky. Good job, little birds. Hop, hop, hop. So can you hop at home? And peck, peck, peck with your nose. That must be a woodpecker like we read about earlier. Now swim along and stretch up your neck. That bird does have a very long neck. Say, hello, darling, <gasps> like a parrot. And then swoop like a starling. Swoop up and down and swoop round and around. Scratch the ground with your feet. Can you go scratch, scratch, scratch? And catch a fly with your beak. I don't know if I want to catch a fly. Are you guys brave enough to catch a fly with your beaks? Stand very tall on just one leg. Can you do that? Like a flamingo. And say, cluck, cluck, and lay an egg. Oh, that's silly. I don't know how to lay an egg. Catch a wriggly snake and stretch out your wings. Can you stretch out your wings like Mr. Eagle back here? You're very wide. And open your beak and sing. Tra la la. Can you sing with us today? And this little one saying tweet, 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 and hum, 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 and cheep, cheep, cheep. All different kinds of bird sounds. Waddle like a penguin in the snow, and run like an ostrich. Go, go, go! Show off your tail and puff out your chest, just like this fancy little peacock. And then cuddle up close with mama in your nest. That's probably the best one. We all like to cuddle. What a busy bird you've been. The funniest one I've ever seen. You guys have done so good. You began the day with a cock-a-doodle-doo. 
Now we're gonna say good night, like Mr. Owl. Toot -a toot! Hoo hoo! Awesome job. I hope you enjoyed that book and had a lot of fun pretending to be a bird with me. I know I did. All right, so now we are gonna get out our friend um, that you brought to story time with you, and we are gonna do a lap bounce for the babies. Um, I've got Theo here, and like I said earlier, for our older story time friends, you can just grab a friend at home and kind of bounce and do the actions with us. And parents and caregivers, if you have small babies, um, now's a good time to have some interaction with them and bounce them on your lap. And if they're really small and not holding themselves up quite yet, you can bounce them in your arms a little bit. All right, are you ready? We are gonna do our all-time favorite bounce that we do at Book Babies each and every week. We are gonna do a hippopotamus got on a city bus. All right, do you have your friends? All right, here we go. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. Can you give them a little love? All right, now we're gonna do a cow. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, move over. All right, you ready to do a sheep? Here we go. A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up. That's a silly thing to do, huh? All right, we're going to try it one more time. So you guys ready to do the hippopotamus? Here we go. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, move over. Can you tilt to the side? All right, now we're going to do the last one, the sheep. We're going to back up. Here we go. A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said back up. Great job, guys, and thanks for bringing your friends with you to story time today. All right, that's actually the last thing we've got for you today, and now we are going to enjoy some bubbles. So get your bubbles out at home and get ready. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. guys thank you so much for joining copper and i at story time today we were so glad to be with you and we just look forward to seeing you next week have a great day and be safe <laughs>